Hello everybody, Fox Van D here. Today I'm going to tell you kind of what's going on with me and the reasons and how I'm handling it. I will be discussing this on my live stream this week, but those that don't watch the live stream, I think I should share with you what's going on so you know what is happening with me. The first thing you're going to see is a couple of pictures one of the generator and one of my little camping trailer. So I'll sh talk to you after I show that. So, this past year has been a little struggle for me. I've had a lot of things go wrong. Um, had to replace my air conditioner. Had to replace my laptop and my camera. And my phone. And a refrigerator twice. I have the worst luck with things. And I also had to take a several trips to California, one to rebuild my box van, and two trips for taking care of my ex-husband husband, who passed away right after I left. <clears throat> so I also had to take a, quite a few trips around since uh, in the past month or so because of the movie making and the meetup and visiting with friends, which is good, but it's also a lot, a lot of gas money. And just this month, I had to buy four new tires for the car. So I'm going to tell you what else has happened. Last year, I had to buy the generator and the trailer. So um, then I went to help my husband for a month, and the car was supposed to get wasn't there it was gone it was sold so I uh, his daughters uh purchased a very nice car a Lincoln town car and it's a really nice car but I found out that it has some serious problems I was not aware of that when I when they bought it for me so I had to replace the tires first thing which was very expensive and then um, because I wanted to trade it for a minivan from a friend that had a minivan as part of the payment. I needed to have the steering checked because it felt funny. It felt wrong. It was pulling pretty, pretty, uh, abruptly at times. Most of the time when I drive it over 55 miles an hour. So after the re I replaced the car tires, I took it down to the shop and had the, I had already done alignment, but, but before I bought the tires. So after I bought the tires, it was still having problems. So I took it back to the shop and they had to check it out. And they said they couldn't align it because it had two ball joints uh, uh, that need to be replaced. And the power steering um, control center or brain had to be replaced. It's going to be like $1,600 for the repairs. The car was really, right now, before it fi fix it, it's really only worth about $2,300. So to put it $1,600 in this car, it would not be tradable for a reasonable price in order to recoup my money so I can't really sell it. So I have to kind of live with it for a while. So I won't be getting my little van I had hoped to get. So I'm going to have to take care of that. And because of all the expenses this past year, I need to 
do a few things to re uh, build up a little um, bank, I guess we would call it, um, to also take care of these things. Um, because I, I'm back in, I charge my credit card up, so. And I have had help from people on YouTube, but, you know, it's, it's a lot of expenses. Anyhow, so what I decided to do is, uh, as you know, I bought the generator when I was still living off-grid full-time. At that time, I couldn't tolerate the heat very well. I always loved the heat. I still do. But I can't tolerate 120 degrees in the summer. So I had to have my air conditioner. So I bought the air conditioner, of course. And um, I already had one, but it, li li this past year, that went bad. Anyhow, so I had an air conditioner, but I could not run it on solar. I just don't have enough solar. I do have a lot of solar, but not enough to run an air conditioner. So I bought the generator to be able to use that air conditioner off-grid. The problem is with the generator is very heavy. It weighs like 100 pounds. And I had a cargo rack on the back of the truck. If I put the generator in the cargo rack, I couldn't open the back doors to get to the propane or anything in the garage area, or the tools or anything, because the generator was in the way. And I couldn't lift the generator off the cargo rack because it was too heavy. So I had to figure out a way to haul the generator. Of course, then I bought the trailer. So I bought the 5 by 8 trailer from Tractor Supply. The generator, generator cost me almost $800. The trailer cost me about $1,200. This is a little over a year ago. And so then I spent about $800, maybe closer to 1000 on materials. And my friend Dan, A to Z Dan, built out the little trailer to make it a little mini, mini box van. It's a great camping trailer. It's very sturdy. It's all still reinforced and... I mean, he did a fantastic job on that trailer. I can't back it up. I tried and tried. And it's a small trailer, so the minute you get off a little bit when you're backing, it completely goes the way it wants to go. Um, I know how to back up a trailer, but not that short one. Plus, I can see it behind the box truck. It's too small. I mean, it's big, but it's too small compared to the box truck. So I, I have had a lot of difficulty taking it place and parking it and backing into any, anything. So that's been problems for me. So since I got a space in the RV park, I only paid $1,500 a year. I just paid for a full year. Um, that was in January, so it's good till next year. So I do have a place that I can stay as much as I want to, but I still don't want to stay in one place for more than a, I mean, after a couple of weeks, I need to get out of here for a while, a few, few days, and get off grid and do what I love. So I realized I can't keep the trailer. It's just taking up space in my driveway, which is small and narrow anyhow. And it's not getting used. And the generator is not getting used when it's sitting in here, when I have plugins. So the generator's really only been used about maybe, if the most, 10 hours, on, only on propane. It's a dual fuel generator. It's a Champion dual fuel with electric start, 4,750 watts starting amps, uh, starting watts, and um, 3,800 running, uh, running watts. And so I only used it on propane because I didn't want to have to haul the gasoline, and I couldn't lift the gas cans to fill it. So I said, okay, I'm only going to run on, on propane. It's clean fuel. And also, if you use gas, if it sits a long time, it can get all clogged up in the gas tank and 
then you have to do maintenance on that. So I didn't want to have to mess with that. So like I said, I only ran it maybe less than 10 hours just to make sure it ran well and used it a few few hours when we were building the trailer. So this is a generator when it was new, building the trailer out. And this is a little dusty in the bad picture, but that's now. So, um, anyhow, so, um, I'm not using these things now and it's just sitting, uh, sitting and taking up space and I have a lot of money and invested it in it. So I decided I need to sell these things to help pay for some of my expenses this past year and also to try to get the car fixed. Um, so... Also, the only thing I use the trailer for is to haul the generator, put my truck spare tire in there because I don't have room in the truck for it, and just extra storage. I have been accumulating too much stuff. I need to downsize again. So I've just, I, that's really all it was as a catch-all and a place to put things. So that's another reason I decided to sell it and maybe get rid of some more stuff, do some yard sales or something, a little, lot of little odds and ends that I needed at the time, but I probably don't need so much now. So I'll add a few clips of the trailer as it was being built and some of the progress and what it looks like. So you can see it, and the uh, generator will be on there, of course. So I'm going to sell it probably on Craigslist. And I'm going to ask for 2500 for the trailer. I'm going to ask for 600 for the generator, or a combination of the two for about 3000 But if one of my subscribers is interested in this, and they live somewhere within a driving distance and want to come see it, you're welcome to do that. All you have to do is email me to get the location and where you can see it and talk about negotiations or whatever, um, because I won't charge as much as I would on crates this probably. Anyhow, so the other news is I did, it, I have been talking to the, producer for the documentary they did on me of my nomad life <laughs> it's definitely supposed to be out on march 8th in the UK, in the uk and once it's out then i can share the link to the film because anybody that doesn't have a uk zip code can't watch their tv series stuff so if you want to see it after sometime the 8th, I'll announce it when it's out. You can send me an email and I can send you the link to the bit, to the film and the password to get in to see it. Because I can't really show it on my channel because it's not my film. It belongs to a film company. So anyhow, but I should... Be seeing a lot of people from the United Kingdom, I'm sure. <laughs> I'm pretty excited about that. I don't make any money off of it, but it's still probably good for my channel. So if you're not already subscribed to my channel, please consider doing so. And watch this till the end, so I'll show you some more pictures. And then um, share it out with your friends, please. And make sure you hit the thumbs up. It helps my analytics, and if you watch it to the end, the watch hours do, do help. We have to keep up our watch hours when your channel's monetized. So I'm doing okay. I feel pretty positive. I've made decisions, and I feel like I can resolve these problems by doing what I'm talking about. And thank you for watching today, and I hope you feel like you've been informed of what's going on with me. I know people really want to keep up to date with what's happening in my life. And I haven't heard when Bob Wells is going to put out his fifth video tour of my box band, but it should be in the next few months. 
um, because he did say it's early in his priorities. So you'd be watching for that too. And uh, make sure you check out A to Z Dan on YouTube. He builds out the trailers, very creative. You might enjoy some of the things he's putting on his channel too. So thank you all for coming. Have a great day and make sure you tell somebody you love them. So I hope you enjoyed this little presentation. There will be links, links below this video for my uh, channel membership join button, a PayPal link, and also links to uh, my email address and my Teespring store. So there's many ways to support my channel, including including just watching them and playing the commercials, hitting the thumbs up. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.